What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm coming your way with an Amazon legging haul. Each legging under $25, mind you, that's a plus. But not only that, these are actually high rated Amazon bum lifting leggings. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you would know that I live and breathe for anything that can help my tushy out even the slightest bit. We have some really awesome, reputable Amazon brands that we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna be testing them out, trying them, and seeing whether or not they actually do the damn thing. If you happen to be new to this channel, welcome. My name's Ashley. I love talking activewear and I actually have a pretty hefty Amazon playlist in case you are interested. Before we get into this video, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a ton. Really helps to support this channel and keep us doing what we do here. Also follow me on Instagram for all things fitness because together we got this. Okay guys, so here we are. We have four individual Amazon brands, all labeled as bum lifting leggings. You better work. All of these will be linked down below for you. They're all in my true size small. Let's hope for the best. I have not even taken these out of the packages as you can see, so this is my first impression. Okay, first we are starting with Running Girl. I have had good experiences with Running Girl. Actually, they're one of my favorite Amazon brands. I'm actually wearing their sports bra right now. Bought it with this haul, and I kind of like it. <laughs> it's a little plain, no problem. Sometimes that's good. It's just, it's, it's a nice supportive sports bra, but nothing to write home about. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, wow. Ooh, well, um, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually getting some bombshell sportswear vibes from these leggings with that sporty stripe going across. So we have a seamless legging high rise, love. Nice ribbed waistband. It seems to have all the elements that I love in a legging so far. Loads of different texture going on. We have a mixture of ribbed, solid <laughs> stripe, different types of ribs going on, and a band that's literally broken in half with color. Lots of color block, do you see that? Not sure if I'm gonna love or hate that, we will see. Overall, it feels super durable, very stretchy. I think this is gonna fit well, but it's very textured, so you can feel that texture throughout the whole legging. I don't really know how this is gonna be that much of a bum lifter, though, because I feel like this contour on the back booty is gonna just shrink my glutes up, and if anything, just make them look like they're sandwiched down on nothing, so I'm not sure. But I love Running Girl, and from my past experiences, they have been pretty good quality, especially for Amazon. So, let's go try it on. Okay, <laughs> running girl. Well, there's some pros and cons to this legging right off the bat. It feels a little bit compressive right around the legs, but right here on the band, it's not compressive at all. I can feel loads of room right around here. I wouldn't want to size down because I don't want right around here to be any more compressive than it is. I'd probably give it moderate compression, but low up here. I love the overall design. It makes me feel kind of like a badass, a little bit of a superhero vibe, I dig. But this whole video is about bum lifting and I don't feel like these do that for me. I actually feel like it does the opposite and it makes my booty look a little shrunken and possibly a little bit saggy. This entire light gray blocked contour above my glutes just needs to go home. It needs to get out of here because that is just making everything look lower. The contour is doing the opposite of what it should be in my opinion. I do think these are pretty good quality. Again, I really do love Running Girl. I just don't think that these should be labeled bum lifting. What do you think? And to top it off, they're about 90% squat proof. So for black leggings, dang, that's a bummer. <laughs> Love how they're seamless. They're very just smoothing me out nicely. No front CT. Props to them for the unique design, okay? I would give them that. But my overall rating when it comes to bum lifting with these leggings would probably be a six out of 10, maybe even five. I have to be realistic here. Leggings are dope, bum lifting, not so much. Okay guys, next brand that we're gonna be looking at is called Moose Lover. I don't know what to think of that one. Um, I guess it's better than being called Camel Lover, right? But Moose, Moose, odd. Oh, okay. 
Okay, I don't even remember like actually buying this. <laughs> I don't remember this print, but immediately I'm thinking Gymshark's Adapt Animal. Anybody else? It's a light gray color, seamless high-waisted, yes. Okay, this seems like a little bit of a dupe situation we got going on, I could be wrong. We got a scrunch bum that looks awfully similar to Gymshark. Almost feels the same in terms of material. This was $20.99 as well, so um, it seems to look like good quality, but how it fits, that's what's gonna determine whether these babies are worth it or not. Okay, well, you know I love a scrunch bum, right? I do, I really do. I don't do hip thrusts for fun, okay? I do them because I want bigger glutes, and if a legging can help me out, all the better. So let's see how they go. Okay, so here we are, it's the moose knuckle. I mean, uh, moose lover leggings. Straight up, yes, they are nearly identical to the Gymshark animal, that shark print that came out last year. I actually brought it here to show you. The print's freaking the same. The only difference is I think the Amazon dupe has a little longer of a scrunch. I think it goes more all the way down the crack than the, uh, than the Gymshark, so. So anyways, other than it being a Gymshark dupe, I am surprised by the quality. It feels really good. This is more of a balanced legging where the other ones kind of were tighter around here, looser here. It is more of a consistent fit. And I really love the fact that these are squat proof, especially for a light gray color. I guess you can say these do lift the bum. A little bit impressed with this quality, I'm not gonna lie. Amazon, hello. Even though they're called Moose Lover, thank goodness there's no Moose Knuckle. I feel like I could have sized down in these for sure. They're very, very stretchy. They're just moderate compression. I do feel like overall I could have possibly sized down and still gotten away with it. Overall bum lifting rating, I would probably give it a good eight out of 10. Good job, Moose Knuckle. All right, if you're watching, good job. <laughs> Next brand we got is none other than Ox Jocks. I love them too. <laughs> I've had really good experiences with Ox Jocks. Oh, ooh, okay. Immediately, I know these are gonna work, I just feel it. They got the nice scrunch and it's a nice, is that a stretchy scrunch? I think it is. These are a beautiful navy blue color, really nice for the fall. Almost has that dusty navy blue color that I like. Dusty. High-waisted seamless, again, I can feel from the material the ultra stretch and softness is of my preference. So I think that this is gonna work out well. You have a little bit of let up material around the glutes. So I just know my glutes might just pop out a little bit with these. I don't know. I'm seeing a trend though. Bum lifting, AKA scrunch butt. So there's no wonder why I love Ox Jocks. These are only $19.99. So not even hitting that $20 mark. And they're the best rated out of this bunch. Four and a half stars. I really can't find five stars on Amazon. It's just something that kind of doesn't exist. One day it'll be a five star and then you go the next day and it's back to like a three star. So I have yet to find real true five stars, but this comes awfully close. Most bang for your buck, maybe. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, we might have found the best one yet. I don't, yeah, probably. <laughs> Ox jocks, I'm not totally surprised though. Love Ox jocks. They went on like that stocking fit. So I feel like that like real nylon-y type of base. Very soft, very comfortable. What a drastic scrunch. Oh my God, it goes all the way up. You can see it. You can see it, right? The world's gonna know you're wearing a scrunch. But I don't really care. You know what? It's doing the job. That's all that matters. There is such a low key contour actually surrounding your glutes. Like it's, it's, it's just a shading around the glutes that are hard to notice but they're there and it's still working. The ripped waistband is definitely a different material than the rest of the legging. This is stocking based, and this is more of that like thick, heavy duty ribbed waistband that I love. These are just that perfect yogi based type of legging with the scrunch. They're almost giving me Alphaly Amplify vibes. Just saying. Except the fact that this is more of a noticeable scrunch and Alphaly's Amplifies are very subtle. You wouldn't even know you're wearing a scrunch, but they just remind me of them. The fit reminds me of them. It's just a light, moderate compression. I tend to like that because it pops the glutes, 
There is a band gate though. So do not count on this band to really suck you in. But overall, it's a very comfortable fit. It's not totally squat proof, but they did make mention of it on the site. So I gotta give them credit. I would still wear them to the gym, but I do wanna make note that when I squat all the way down, this is the kind of scrunch that doesn't really move with you. So it's a little bit stiff and you can kind of feel it like a thong just riding up your bum. But in terms of bum lifting, I would probably give this a good nine out of 10. We're heading somewhere, we're cooking now. We're cooking with some serious heat. Okay, last but not least, we are looking at the brand Agutin. I'm gonna go with, that's what I'm gonna go with. Wow, okay, so this is really such a beautiful color. This almost looks somewhat bleached or acid washed. Wow, is that soft, very soft. This looks like a pair of jeans that were made into a comfortable legging. High-waisted and seamless again. Let's check out that bum. We got a scrunch. Yes! We also, on top of that, have a really beautiful under glute contour, which I don't think none of the other ones did. So what the frig? The color is what stood out to me. I had to grab these ones. There's really chunky rib down the sides too to kind of break it up. And this band looks huge. I'm about to see. Is this gonna come up to my boobies? <laughs> it might. So far the backing has my boat right now. Let's hope it stays that way. This just looks like it, it would be from the 80s. I love how they took such a vintage -y looking style and made them into a legging. I have never seen a legging look like this before. It doesn't look like a freaking dupe of anything else. It looks original. So I'm kind of favoring this look right now. This was $23.99, so the most expensive out of the bunch, but my gut is telling me I might love these the most. I don't wanna speak too soon though, I don't. Let's see what we are looking at and if it holds up to what I'm thinking it might be. Oh my God. <laughs> I had such high hopes, why? I had a feeling this would happen. The band is a little, just a little bit over the top. It almost reaches my boobies. Mm -hmm. But you know what though? We're gonna try to roll it down, kind of make use out of it, and see if this cannot be passable. I don't know though. Ooh. So this legging was a little bit tougher to get on in terms of just working its way up. It's definitely the most compressive out of any of the other ones, but still moderate compression. The scrunch bum though, we gotta talk about that. There is just so much going on in this area. <laughs> it's a very noticeable scrunch and it's a not a stretchy one. Don't know why Amazon brands don't try to really work on that scrunch. They, it's like they put just a stiff patch and even though it works in getting in between the glutes, it's not the most comfortable when squatting because it feels like I'm wearing a thong. They're super squat proof, so no problems there. Plus. I don't think there's any way to see through them because you just got that scrunch in your face. This scrunch is extremely noticeable because right at the actual scrunch line, the material is darker. So you can see where it goes in. I see what they were trying to do, but it kind of looks obnoxious. <laughs> they're very comfortable other than that. And I gotta say, I still think they're very stylish overall. This is definitely a legging I would just wear with a loose baggy hoodie and play it off as stretchy jeans, okay? Maybe a pair of wedges, perhaps. Not something I would wear to the gym or out totally in public with all this going on. But in terms of the overall design, I am definitely here for it. It's giving me 90s nostalgia vibes. Pretty sure I used to wear things like this as a child. So don't get it twisted. I feel like this legging could work for a lot of people. I just feel like for me, my personal preference, this shading right here made it a little too obnoxious for me. And this band, I love that I can roll it down, but I just keep thinking that it's just gonna eventually roll its way back up and then turn into this again. If you're somebody who prefers a very, very high tummy control type of legging like this, then I would suggest this for you because I do feel like overall, it gives a really nice, decent support here. So if you wanna kind of tuck it in up here, go for it. Plus I have a really short torso. So on a lot of people, this might not be as obnoxious as it looks on me, but that's just me, you know. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the way they went about this scrunch, in terms of actual bum lifting, 
effectiveness, I would still give it a nine out of 10 because it is a drastic lift. You have a drastic scrunch separation of the bum. So I do think it does the job. So if this is the kind of look you like to go for, then yes, totally go for them because you can feel the quality overall. And the patterning is really cute. Can't go wrong with that. Okay guys, what on earth are we thinking about these Amazon bum lifting leggings? <laughs> Some were a little bit obnoxious, not gonna lie, most of them were. But nevertheless, for the price, I mean, these were all under $25. I do believe that each one was worth their price. I do. If you're somebody who is looking for more affordable leggings, I do tend to like Amazon for that reason. They're very much affordable. And you really do find some gems. Like today, I do feel like this was a pretty successful haul. What do you think? Comment down below. So before we sign off, you know how I do. I have to rank them. Who has the best and who has the worst in my opinion? We're starting with the worst. Here you go. Sorry, running girl, you didn't really make the cut. I really feel like you could have done better or just not label them as bum lifting. That's just me. <laughs> Still a really great legging, especially for the price, but not really for this category. Not trying to be disrespectful or butcher their name, but we're gonna go with Augustin. <laughs> I just feel like the scrunch was over the top. The band was a little too crazy for me. So unfortunately I had high hopes, but nevertheless, still a pretty good legging. Coming in second place, I'm gonna have to go with the Moose Lover. Even though you're an animal dupe, you still work pretty dang good. Yes, you do. This leads us to our number one winner. You get a trophy, Ox Jocks. You slayed this game. I do believe out of every legging, you are the most worth it, 100%. You have my vote. They're the best scrunch and the most affordable, so win-win. All right, guys, so that concludes another Amazon video. I hope you enjoyed this time together. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Help me out. Subscribe also because we have really fun videos coming up. We have Zaffle, we have a Fit Jeans haul, many more Gymshark videos to come, you name it. We're gonna be covering a lot. I appreciate you all so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video.